You've got to collaborate here. I think it's more so now than ever. The regulators have to be involved. We have to collaborate more and, and discuss it because no one can do this by themselves. It has to be everybody. Duke, on your recent earnings call, you talked about Quanta's unique position connecting the utility, renewable energy, and tech industries. Can you share more about how Quanta is supporting this convergence? Technology is certainly you know, a big customer of our customers, and the demand that we see from them is probably the largest user of electricity, or, or will be soon. Um, and certainly that demand is, is putting pressure on our clients, and we're, we're also building infrastructure for both sides. Um, including the renewable industry. And when you think about what the technology uh, customers want, they want the renewable power generation. We build about 25% of it in North America. For us, we, we play a lot of different roles. And I think that, that nexus where we're in the middle of all of them listening, and it's difficult because people are, you know, technology wants it now, they want it clean. And then you have a, a utility also that has rate payers and then they're thinking about affordability that states that they're talking to. So it's just a unique place that we're not sitting in front of any of them or a regulator or anything like that. But we also can facilitate those, those discussions as well as try to make sure that we're doing something um, on time, on budget for all, all sets of clients. So it's just a unique role that we're um, a playing an exciting time in the business for sure. Now, with all this growth in energy demand and the need for grid modernization, how do you see the industry working with regulators to set the right framework for these big investments? You've got to collaborate here. I think it's more so now than ever. And I, when you think about um, technology and the pressure they're putting on the states and the to go faster, to hurry, um, I, I think that is something that the industry is not used to and it's coming at you really fast. And so the industry is really thinking through this with the regulators now and I, you know, take or pay type models, models that are different than ever before on who pays. And I think technology is willing to pay. All those things are good. We just have to get it in rates and, and you have to really discuss it. I mean, the hardest thing in someone's life is to change. And, and this change is evolving all across for us, for, for everyone involved in this transition. So as that change happens, I think the regulators have to be involved. We have to collaborate more and, and discuss it because no one can do this by themselves. It has to be everybody involved in it. Now, your business relies on highly skilled labor and with a work with workforce shortages everywhere, um, how have you managed to grow your team? And tell me, what's the plan for expanding to meet future demand? My father, when he was in a family business, four generations in, in, the, in the business and all around craft. So, we, we bought a college years ago and we developed the college, the curriculum, and I, I think it's really helped us evolve who we are. We work with the trade associations, unions, about everybody we can. And, uh, you know, organically, we're growing around 4,000 employees a year, not, not including acquisitions. So we really have to have the curriculum. People learn differently. And the one thing that we found is no one, no one learns at the same pace short burst learning, um, everyone's attention span goes uh, quickly these days. So we have to think differently and train differently and you can't have the same programs you have for 50 years. But we've been able to really work at that, work with inner cities and with kids to make sure the pre-apprenticeship programs, the military, how we work with Veep in the military to get kids out of the military and into the business. It's exciting. I mean, you got a growth business, it could come in insurance, you know, have really, really good median wages that, that we believe are really important in, in North America and what we're trying to accomplish. So I, I think, you know, having a great job and an exciting business, we got to make it more exciting. It can't be dull. Um, and so I, I think that's really key for us is to recruit the right people that want to be in the trade and then give them an opportunity to move up through it. And finally, Duke, with so many leaders, regulators, and investors here at the EEI Financial Conference, tell me, what are you hoping to accomplish while you're here? We really want to support the industry. I, I think it's important that the messaging comes from a broad base, not just one person. So for us, we see it coast to coast. We see it, you know, state to state, and then we see it at a federal level. And our ability to really come out with messaging around what we're seeing and you know, the discussions around what should we be talking about? How should we, I mean, we need transmission in North America. We know we do. We need people, we need uh, manufacturing capabilities. So I, I think just sitting back and doing nothing is not acceptable. So for us to get in front and, and get that message out that we have to move, 
um, we can't stand still and move. So we have to move forward. Um, it's something that we wanted to accomplish and make sure that we're supporting our clients and their, and their customers as well. All right, well, Duke, it's been wonderful to talk yeah, with you. Thanks well. for joining yeah, me. Yeah, thanks talk. for the opportunity. Thank you.